Well, my prediction about number 59 was a little off. Still no calf, although she looks really close to me. I think I'm just done predicting this cow because she has fooled me too many times. The other day when we brought her from the winter pasture and put her out with these cows here at the home ranch, you guys saw how she sort of secluded herself and I thought that that meant she was going into labor. But as I thought about it more, I think what we were seeing there is that she was just sort of getting away from the main herd so that they would leave her alone because when you put a new cow in with the herd everybody's got to fight and sniff and all this and that and she was probably just getting tired of it and needing a break still be keeping a close eye on her and i do still think that she will have the first calf of the year but as of now the calf count is zero i got the trailer hooked up here because today i think i gotta run to town and get some more supplies seems like i do that a lot but what I'm getting today is the boards to go inside the bullpen. As you can see, this corrugated metal wall is, is just hanging on by a thread. And, and what these guys are basically telling me is that they can break through that anytime they feel like. They just haven't felt like it yet. Isn't that right? Yeah, you're a wild one. So my plan on this wall is to go four rails of two by eights, and I think that will solve my problem, or at least the boards, would you stop this? Look at this guy. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to film in here with these guys because they are just a little too friendly. But before I run off and start buying materials, I need to get in here with a tape measure and take some measurements to see exactly how much I'm gonna need. And I'm sure we'll end up getting into something else today, but this is how the day's gonna start. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. All right, we got about 18 feet on this wall, so I'll have to buy 20 footers and cut them off. And then this wall is about 31 feet, so I think the best way to do that is going to be two sections of 16 foot boards. So again, we'll cut off a little bit, but uh, you know, that's kind of to be expected. So I need eight 16 foot two by eights and four 20 foot two by eights. Let's hope they have it. Well, they didn't exactly have the dimensions that I wanted, but what I've got here is gonna work. So let's get back to the ranch and see what we can do with it. They never give me any feedback. friendly to a fault, you know that? Yeah. Well, we're certainly a long way from done, but unfortunately that's all the time I have to work on this today. Usually I'll try to wrap up a video or wrap up a job in a video, but it just didn't work out that way today. And honestly, that's kind of how it is most days. 
The good news is that I at least got the boards over where they're starting to break through the tin. Good thing we got the little bit of extra reinforcement. As much as I'd love to just stay out here, keep working and finish this, it's starting to get late and we need to go check cows. All of these girls that are up here at the feeder eating their hay, I don't think are anywhere near calving. Although a couple of them are showing signs that they're maybe within a week or two. You can see that number 34 here has a little bit of discharge and that, that's not like she's going into labor, uh, but, but it is a telltale sign that she is bred. She is pregnant right now. And it's not uncommon to see that when they are pregnant. So we at least know there's one in there, but it's, it's not, not coming today. So this is our suspect, number 59. I just keep waiting and thinking any day it's going to happen for her, but honestly, it doesn't really look like it's going to happen tonight. So now it probably will. You guys know you have a water trough, right? Here at the home ranch, I'm mostly wanting to keep my eyes on these first calf heifers. And I don't know why they're drinking out of a rain puddle, but they, they seem to like it. Hey, buddy. How are you? Out of the four replacement heifers, I think it's going to be 62 that goes first, but I'm not really sure. I can see something starting to happen with her bag, uh, but not not like she's right around the corner, but, but something is happening, so that's a good sign. What's the big boy doing out here? You and Buddy are the only dudes, huh? If you guys remember back when... I separated the cows and I take some to the winter pasture and leave some here. The ones that I leave here are almost all for a certain reason. And the first calf heifers are probably at the top of this list. I want them having their calves here because the chances of them needing help and delivery are quite a bit higher than it is for any other cow. In fact, I think it's somewhere around like 70 to 80 percent of dystocia which is another word for just calving trouble but that happens in first calf heifers so odds are if you are going to have cows that have trouble giving birth it's not going to be your older cows it's going to be your first calf heifers now that's not to say that it never happens to the old cows because it can but it's usually for different reasons Typically, first calf heifers have trouble giving birth because maybe the calf is too big and they can't stretch wide enough to get it out. Maybe they just don't really know to push. They're not strong enough. There's, there's a lot of factors that play into it. But usually with older cows, they've been through this before, so they know what to do. But the problems that they can have would be like complications from twins, breech birth, um, I don't know that I've ever had a cow that was beyond that first calf heifer stage that couldn't deliver just because the calf was too big. Well, there doesn't appear to be any action going on here with these girls. I think they'll be all right through the night. I don't expect to see any new babies in the morning. Let's run down to the winter pasture and see how those cows are doing. Well, I do count 19 cows out here, which is what there should be. I will at some point bring another cow back from the home ranch and drop her off out here to replace number 59, the cow that we had to remove from this ranch. But that's not gonna be for a little while. The reason is just because right now the corrals are so muddy and everybody's so close to having calves that I don't like to mess with them if I don't have to. So probably what I'll end up doing is once I do get a calf over there, if it's a cow that is allowed to come here, then I'll probably just bring the pair. Number 50 here walking past me is either very fat or very pregnant, and I'm hoping that it's the second one. I've been a little bit worried about her this year because I remember earlier in the year, the cow, or it was when she was at the home ranch and Buddy and a couple of the other steers were following her around and jumping her and she was acting like she was in heat. A lot of people might say, well, yeah, if they're jumping her and riding her, she's in heat, she's not bred. And that might be right and it might not be right. 
sometimes cattle can show false heats and I forget they're, they're more common at certain stages of the pregnancy that I can't think of right at this moment but if you see cattle acting like they're in heat other cows riding them and things like that it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not bred it could mean that but if you don't see that behavior repeat itself in the next 21 days then odds are she was showing a false heat i remember reading about this phenomenon but i've observed it a few times myself where i've seen cattle displaying that sort of behavior and then sure enough several months later she has a calf certainly not what you want to see but not necessarily grounds to load her up in the trailer and get rid of her right then and there well everything seems pretty calm and quiet over here as well so i guess we can uh, we can sleep easy tonight Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. What are you doing? There it is.